I don't know my father. I, I didn't learn his name until I was 24 years old. Hey loves, it's Toya. I thought it would be a cool idea to do the hair look from the Oscar winning film Hair Love. Uh, it's by a man named Matthew and a woman named Karen and I'll put their names so that I don't butcher it <laughs> uh, on the screen. But I'm gonna do an inspired look and I'm really excited because my hair is blown out. It's gonna be kind of a get ready with me. This particular hairstyle is really, I mean it's trending all over um, and I I just absolutely love this film and while I do my hair I just want to talk about why I love it so much. I'm using a tail comb. I will put everything that I use down below. This style I've never done before but you know we're gonna keep it moving. Oh man my hair is very So the first thing I'm gonna do is just part my hair. There are four different sections. I love using tail combs to get a straight part because, I mean, it's just so much easier. You take the comb, you do this, and you just like basically trace your hair. All right, so my first section is down. I'm debating if I wanna do four sections or just three. Uh, I'll try to do four. Okay, so I finished parting it. So I pretty much um, have one technique that I use to make sure that my parts are straight enough. <laughs> and that's uh, recording with my phone and checking it out and also using a mirror in front of me. So if you do, you know, everything by yourself, then that's a tip. This film is incredible. Um, it made me cry. So uh, I've got my four sections and I'm gonna moisturize with Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Um, and I'm using the goodie bands to make sure that everything is intact. So I, first of all, I wanna commend um, the writers of this film because it's very rare that you see a full unit black family of, you know, that's not surrounded by interfamilial trauma does that make sense like obviously there's a big issue in the film and I don't necessarily want to ruin it for you guys um, but it's not them they're a normal healthy family and I just love 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 that so much because we just don't get to see it as often Here we go Got my brush. The narrative around black families is that the father is never present. But today, especially today, um, and my husband is included into the millennial men who are making a stand and saying, we're here and we want to be dads. And you know, the whole facade of, you know, what a man is and all that stuff is really being shattered. And, um, you're seeing a lot more people be vocal about being a fathers in this day and age. And you know, those men are actually out there. There's actually more black men present than society would have you believe. So whenever I see family units being portrayed on TV, I'm also, I'm very happy, but I'm also, um, you know, a little, I have a longingness. I don't know who my father is. I have no idea who he is. I've never met him. Um, I didn't learn his name until I was 24. Uh, and you know, that's my life. I think that, you know, there, there are people from my community who also have a similar story. Um, and this is not to drag my mother or anything. Um, we definitely have our way of dealing with it. Um, and a lot of it surrounding like why I even started YouTube in the first place, but that's a whole nother deep story that has lots of layers. But you know, we're working through that, but um, she felt that it was best for my father not to be around uh, without spilling too much of the tea. And so I didn't grow up with that. The problem is, is that I didn't know that. Um, I grew up thinking that he was dead. It was a traumatic way that I found out. It, like traumatic 
in terms of big life events. And so when I see family units, I broke my freaking hair tie. I feel like I'm having a hair love moment right now <laughs> with the dad when he comes in and he tries to do his daughter's hair. Lord, I'm gonna double it up so I don't have to tie so many times. Anyway, I love that there is a present father and, you know, they slowly unfold the story about the mother. I have a hair in my eye. And it's just so heartfelt and so wonderful. And I think it more properly represents what's happening in uh, black households today in terms of the family unit. So kudos to them and kudos to the Oscar for noticing and recognizing something as fantastic as it is because we all know that that doesn't always happen with the Oscars when it comes to brown people. Another theme that I really liked is sort of the struggle with natural hair. Uh, hair love is... <laughs> It's pretty realistic in that sense, you know? Like, even me doing my hair, my rubber band freaking popped. That's real, you know? Like, you'll you'll watch a lot of my tutorials and you'll be like, oh my God, she makes it look so easy. Like, no, I have editing. It really does take patience, just like the mother said, you know? <laughs> we gotta represent. <laughs> All right, let's get this in a ponytail. These goody bands. Bless the heart of who made them, because I definitely need it. What were some of your thoughts about, you know, some of the themes and things that you saw that I'm not mentioning? Another thing that I really loved is they're throwing in the theme of defining beauty outside of hair. And I really, really, really loved that. I thought that was a really nice touch. So from here you can really go so many different ways but you could so you could like tuck it forward that's what I'll probably ultimately end up doing but in the film uh, I believe they do a two strand twist of sorts and then they tuck it back and then they put a little bow in, in the front for the girl so if I follow what the film says it'll be a bunch of twists with like you know two strands but I actually think I want to just roll it. Okay, so this hairstyle is a little bit harder than it looks. So I have all these gaps. So what I'm gonna do, I think is separate, I'm gonna separate this one a little bit more. Hold on, let me take a break real quick, cause. Mm. So far, so good. At this point, I feel like the only thing that I'm not loving are my edges. Normally I actually don't use gel on my edges, but I feel like because this, I don't know, I just feel like because my edges are so short and they're like kind of pointing out, I need to, I need to smooth it. So you can even add, you know, some hardware like this. Of course you want to space it out a little bit better, but I think that this is also like cute, see? This is pretty much the finished look. I think it looks pretty darn good. And I have other hair tutorials if you're into updos. I'm gonna put it like here or maybe there or you know, you'll see it. Check out my other videos, subscribe, 
thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts about hair love in the comments below. I love you and I will talk to you later. Bye. Mwah.